guys, welcome back to Bait and Tackle. Today I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing video. It really is like Christmas time right now and we're getting close to it. And I mean, I've got all these boxes that I just got in the mail. We've got some stuff from Epic Bait Molds. We've got some stuff from BTS Molds. I think we've got some stuff from AI Angling. We've also got some stuff from Lurecraft and we got a, a small package from Sticker Mule. So let's open up all this stuff and see what we got. All right, guys, well, where do we begin? Um, I've already opened up some of these boxes, so I guess we'll just start with a couple over here and try to do this a little bit easier, see if I can semi kind of organize a little bit here. But we'll start with this one. And this is one of my favorites, Epic Bait Molds. We got four, or well, three four inch open pour jackhammers and the funny thing is I ordered these on Small Business Saturday and somehow my order didn't get processed to get my free one of these so I ended up just getting the three but I contacted uh, Jason and Amanda from Epic Bay Molds and they're sending me um, they're sending me another one in the mail like ASAP so it'll be here soon so I have four of these to do nice little open pour swim bait especially for like my um, underspins that I make and for doing like um, uh, trailers for Alabama rigs and that kind of thing. Now I'm very excited to get these. I finally broke down and bought two of these epic um, stud molds, 6.1. 6 and I cannot wait, cannot wait to use these. These are going to be so, so amazing. And they're a big enough mold to where you can do a lot of detail and it's just, I mean, these things are just beautifully crafted. I, I love it. Epic Bay Molds. Their stuff is just on point. Phenomenal. Let me, uh, I dropped one of the wing nuts in the trash can down here. Didn't mean to, but it happens. So again, I got two of those. And like I said, I got, um, three of the four inch jackhammers but I got a fourth one coming from the free, the free business part so that's that <clears throat> on a sticker mule I ordered they had a deal for 50 one inch buttons so I got a 50 count of one inch bait and tackle buttons so I can start giving them out to whoever places in order or whatever, you know, whoever orders stuff. I mean, I usually just throw in a bunch of free stuff, stickers, whatever. Um, but great little buttons. I've had some of those before already. I think I got some of the enamel pins too. And um, those came out pretty well, pretty good as well. Okay, so this is um, BTS. And I haven't even opened this one yet. If I have a knife right here. Oh, look, there it is. Okay. So, what I ordered from these guys for the, um, I don't think it was necessarily Black Friday. Maybe it was. It was uh, a pretty good deal, like 20% off or something like that. But what I ended up getting was a four inch um, swim bait. So it's very similar to the ripper molds that Do It Molds makes. And the tails go flat. So it's a little bit of a unique designed mold where the tails go like that. See them so they come out the flat side. So very, very interesting concept for that mold. And I can't wait to shoot these. Um, I have since gotten rid of most of my ripper molds at this point in time. So much easier to do more, more at once. Okay, that box kind of made a mess. All right, on to Lurecraft, which I can't even remember what I ordered. I think I ordered a bunch of stuff for doing, yeah. I bought a, I got a bunch of different, some new colors for um, powder paints for doing lead products. And that one is called Stardust Moss Effect. So I can't wait to try that one. And then I got some um, uh, 
bold gill uh, greenish type and I think it's got some flake in it and stuff like that so that's going to come out really cool looking Protec. I've always I've got, a, I've got a ton of Protec paint. Protec works really well. And then we got two more. One is Black Sahara Camo Stardust. And then, and it's pretty cool. It's like a, I don't know if you can see that real well, but it's like a, there we go. It's like a mix of like black and looks like it's got some white color, red and orange in there kind of thing. So that'd be pretty neat, very neat. And then this one is um, white camo. So black camo, white camo. This has got a majority white in it. It's got some black and some red. And uh, like I said, nice, nice colors. I can't wait to try those on some lures. Okay, and then what else do we get in here? Try not to get peanuts all over the ground. Oh, I just got some skins. So I got some skins for some big lures, some small ones for some small lures. Um, I might try my hand at doing some wood baits at some point here. And uh, I also got some small hooks for a little ice jig that I've got, a little mold that I got from um, uh, bug molds in uh, Ukraine. So we'll try those out, those little hooks too. But that's pretty cool. I think that's just the one. Yep. <clears throat> and then got this recently too. This is Angling AI Artificial Intelligence Molds. And I got two molds I'm really excited about. One of them, I believe, one of them is a tail mold for the Assault Worm speed worm so I can't wait to try that and I've already got the assault worm mold so I was pretty interested in getting the tail mold to go with it and then the other one I got is a 3.75 I think or close to a four inch uh, hammer another another type of um, hammer swim bait paddle tail so this is injection so now i've got injection and open pour <clears throat> so that i can do either either or if i wanted to the only thing that concerns me is this uh putting this plate back in here once in a while it's kind of a pain in the butt it like has to sit in there just right There it goes. And I've got the smaller one that I've already bought. I bought a, uh, <clears throat> I bought a 2.75 inch. So I've got a three now and a four in that. And of course, stickers come with most of that stuff. And finally, last but not least, I want to put a shout out to my buddy, Fish Daddy, Arthur. You the man. Um, I bought a box from him for the holidays. They had, he had some deals running. So I figured I'd go ahead and order a box from him as well. And he's got some baits that I don't have molds to that I kind of wanted to try. So he's got the Drax in, I think, the bigger version. I don't know if it's over 5 inches, but that's a pretty pretty beefy flipping bait. So I wanted to try that. I've got the 4-inch one myself. And then um, he also did some of these little swim baits, which I don't have that one either. And I know that's an epic bait mold. Um, but beautiful colors. He did a great, great job on those. Arthur's really good at his craft. And then some of these little, like, craw-type bugs, which will work great in the creek and the river. And then he sent some, um, oh yeah, these, like, slick swimmers. Those are really nice. He sent me a bunch of those. And, oh, the, the hogs, which I want to try these hogs because I have, um... I have some hogs, different different types of hogs, so I want to try these and see how good they are. And then he did some of the, the rivets, the, some of the frogs. Those are going to be pretty cool. Can't wait to try some of those in the summertime. But some some stuff that uh, that I've never tried before. Here's some of those little tiny 
one and a half inch, I think, little prey bait type type uh, lures. They're tiny, man, but um, beautiful colors. Did a great job. So I will uh, I'll give those a shout. Probably in the probably give those a try in the creek and stuff like that. Little flipping baits, some little net baits. I've seen these before. I haven't tried these yet, so that'll be good. Uh, giant leech, right there. Now I have the smaller leech. It's like a 3.25. I'm not sure how big this one is. I don't know if it's 4.25 or 5.25, but that is a massive leech. But I can't tr wait to try that. That I bet you some smallmouth would would slay that thing down here. And then he also gave me some of these little ice fishing jig mold, these ice fishing jig um, lures. And I'm not sure what the names of these are, but I may have to get some of these. I do use these in the winter time when it's real cold. Uh, there's a little bridge that I like to go to up north of where I'm at, and I use little tiny jig heads with this type of bait and just try to jig for a big, big bluegill and that kind of stuff. And even some of the sometimes the bass hit them too. So I can't wait to try those. He also gave me some in chartreuse. So awesome job, Arthur. I can't wait to use some of these. Um, if you guys want some of his awesome baits, go over to Fish Daddy 401. He's on Instagram. He's on, uh, I think he's on YouTube now as well, but there's his Gmail address. But go check him out if you want some baits. And, and this is a good way for me to learn too. Like, so my whole purpose of doing this is I can buy these baits from these local bait makers and I can test them so then that way I can see if this is a bait that I want to buy. Do I want to buy this mold before spending all this money, right? So I can check it out and be like, well, you know, it's maybe a little too big. I don't want to buy those or, you know, like the leeches. I'm not sure how, if those big ones are going to work or not. I have the small ones, but... Um, so it, it's great to just experiment so I can buy them from my local buddies, my local bait maker guys and test them out first before I go get the molds. So I'm kind of excited about it. So that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. So I got a pretty good haul of stuff here. Um, I can't wait to try some of these molds, but I've got a lot of swim baits. I've got to make up for some orders that have come in in the last couple days. Um, and I, I don't openly make, make baits for people but when some people ask if you just message me on um, Instagram I'll try to get to you as quick as I can I'm usually a couple weeks out just because of my full-time job is really busy and you know having a family life you know you know what it's like so but thanks for watching guys and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video just a quick unboxing of a bunch of stuff and we're gonna try out in, in the near future and hopefully we'll do some videos on some of this stuff well, that's going to do it for today's quick video guys please like comment share subscribe if you just stumbled upon my channel please subscribe I'm trying to get over 500 subscribers by the end of the year if i can so thank you guys for watching and remember keep on baiting